Hello Infra Experts. Today's topic is MySQL Master Master Replication. This is my steps which we will be following for today's session. I have just jotted down the steps and I will be putting this, these steps in my blog also and the link will be posted in the video description. So please go through the video description to get the blog link. So in here we have two servers server 1 and server 2 the host name of server 1 is master 1 and the ip address being 172.168.190.1 whereas for server 2 which is which should be the master 2 the host name is we have kept it as master 2 for our own understanding purpose and the ip address being 172.168.190.2 so before we proceed i will just give you an overview of the steps which we will be following over here we will be taking the backup of the database of the instance from master 1 and then we will be restoring that same in master 2 and after making various changes in the cnf file configuration file we will be creating the replication user and then we will be firing the command change master 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 to master from both the servers so without wasting much time let us proceed so the first step is take dump off on master 1 and restore on master 2 so here we are this is my master 1 and i am we can see over here we have a database instance already running and this is with my.cnf whereas in master 2 if you see the cnf file is my master 2.cnf okay so the first step is we need to take the backup so to take the backup let us first see whether this is present or not this directory it i must have created this so this is created and over here also it is created now let me take the dump and in the dump as i as you have gone through my master slave replication i hope so i won't be t repeating the same things over here what is uh, master data what is quick what is single transaction if you want to know about these please go through the master slave replication so i'll just fire this commands with the from mysql dump with having the defaults file user being root password master data equals to two quick single transaction force and where we will be placing the file with the name so this is done let me go over here So this is the file present over here now what do we need to do we need to transfer it to my second node right which is 172 168.190.2 and the path the same path i have kept and just put it over there so this is done now i need to restore it so the restore command is from mysql binary mysql i am taking the socket file and then from this we need to restore from the sql so this has been restored okay as you can see that it has come out and it has restored I do not have anything right now in my instance so I am not checking whether everything has been restored if you have any databases any datas please do log in to your restored data instance and check whether those databases those datas have been restored or not okay so the next changes is I need to make changes in my master 2 cnf file so what changes would i be making first thing first the server id i need to make this one as two both the databases should not have server id as one so one should be two and the one should be one so in master two i'm keeping it as two the relay log 
I need to put bin lock format I have already in here this I can just delete it from here these are not needed at all so for master master configuration log slave updates one that I need to give okay so this is the one I need before making any changes make sure you have a copy of your CNF file so let me just make a copy of it first okay and then make the changes over here so once these changes have been made I need to make sure that my instance is restarted until and unless you are restarting the instance the changes won't be occurring similarly in master one also we need to make the changes so server id i do not need to change the net read timeout inodb data home directory these things if you want you can put i'm just putting it for my own the main things are required is relay log slope and log slave updates okay so let us go in here little server id i am having so i need to put the rest of the details i will do as i said i'll just delete it and put everything over here okay so this is done now what do i need to do i need to shut down so i've just kept it all over here so that i do not need to type in and i can just cross it with the copy paste you should also be performing this during your any change windows so so before going ahead with the change window during the deployment process that time before that you should prepare yourself and you should not be in a position that you will be doing at that time itself okay so i'm just shut it down so this is getting shut down in one and in two also i'm shutting it down so my database is down okay now i need to start it again so that it reflects in master 2 also let me see whether it has got down okay it is down and now i need to start it this is for my master 1 let me see whether it is running or not so this is running and for master 2 it should be master 2.cnf right so this has started so the changes have been made now what do i need to do in master 1 i need to make a replication user so that it can connect to the master 2 and i can i need to grant replication slave privilege to the same user similarly from master 2 i need to create a replication user for which can be connecting to the master 1 and as the the same steps needs to be followed in here, here also i need to grant the replication slave privilege to this user okay so let me just run this before that i need to log in right so let's log into the database and now run execute this so let me just delete user comma host from mysql dot user so i have this so we are done with this now from the master 2 instance also let us create the replication user so let me just log in over here i didn't log in yet let me just take and then just create the user so this is done now i need to check the this file right mysql database dump and let me check this file over here the master log i need to take this
and I will just keep it over here and so the ch only changes is this and let me just run this in master 2 then we need to start the slave so let me start the slave over here show slave status my bad so my slave io is running sql is running and everything is fine now let me log in over here show databases i have just these databases now let me just create a database create database master one since i'm creating it from master one and now it is in master one let me see whether it is in master two or not see in master two also it has been replicated now what i need to do i need to get the master status from my master 2 so that master master replication is a success so it will be given as the bin log position so my bin log file and position it has been it is showing over here okay i'll just take this and the same command which we ran earlier for master 2 the same we need to run over here but with changing the this file right the host name being of master 2 so this i need to run from master 1 so this is done and now again the same thing start slave show slave status so i'll just first of all check so this is running let me just create a database first and then check master 2 my bad so in master 2 i have created it so this has reflected in master 1 let me create an a user over here one more user create user test and let's see whether this is replicating or not so this is replicating so we can see from over here that both my databases both master 1 and from master 2 the users and databases everything is getting reflected even if you are inserting any if creating any tables and inserting any data those will be reflected over both the nodes i hope i am able to clear this session hope you have liked it please do share your comments please do like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching the video take care